am giving you a warning. <laughs>girl malaika aka mali aka malibu whatever you want to call me you don't know that it is me and this is malaika's flex i want to say a big welcome back to all my flexors all my super flexors big flexors flexing flexors and my half flexors if you have not yet go ahead and hit the subscription button go ahead and give this video a like and let's get into it so the purpose of doing this video i know that most of my subscribers are teachers or aspiring international teachers and i just want you guys to be more aware when coming to the united states um with different credentials so this is my story and as the thumbnail says as the title of this video says i have my master's degree however i am not being paid for it so a little background of who I am, for those of you who do not know, I am Jamaican. I grew up in Jamaica all my life, and that is where I got both of my degrees, my bachelor's degree and my master's degree. So I did my bachelor's degree at Shortwood Teachers College, Big Up Shortwood, in foreign languages, Spanish and French. And then in 2019, I decided to go ahead and do my master's degree in educational administration for those of you watching who do not understand how my country operates jamaica whenever you do a master's degree you can get just a little bit more on your pay your monthly pay it doesn't matter even though my bachelor's is actually in spanish and french my master's does not have to be in Spanish and French for me to get that additional amount on my salary in Jamaica. So in August of 2021, I moved to the United States as a teacher. And by then I was finished with my master's degree, but I didn't have my degree officially in hand as yet. So by October... 2021 i got my official degree in hand and after receiving that i went ahead and i did my credential evaluation for my master's degree i would have already done that for my bachelor's in order to actually get licensed to teach so i, I would not have started teaching without getting that but i wanted to upgrade my level so in georgia for those of you who don't know i am in the state of georgia and what i'm saying in this video may not apply to all the states in, um, in the United States of America, I am referring to Georgia and I know that it happens in some other states as well. Most other states based on the feedback that I've been getting from people. So in Georgia, in order to get a step up, you have the T4 step, which is for level, which is for bachelor's degree. You have something called T5, which is for a master's degree, T6, which is for a specialist degree, and T7, which is a doctorate so i was already at t4 bachelor's level because that's what i came with already already evaluated already placed on my teaching license or teaching certificate as they call it here i wanted to do a level upgrade and when i requested that level upgrade I did the evaluation it says it's equivalent to a master of education in leadership in the united states sent it in and i got the disappointing news that i would not be getting a level upgrade because my degree is not in the area that i'm teaching they said that because i am teaching spanish here my degree has to be also in spanish or something language related so what you guys need to know is that if you do decide before coming to, to the United States to do a, a master's degree, ensure that if you really know that you'll be coming to the United States to teach, try to ensure that it's in a teaching related field. Because my master's degree said educational administration, even though it's an MED, still in education, that didn't matter. They're saying that I'm not at a leader position, I'm not an assistant principal or a principal or 
an acad academic coach or somebody in a leadership position, I could not be awarded the pay or the level up for that. So ensure that the masters that you decide to do is in teaching. It's something teaching related. If your masters doesn't have to say master of education in mathematics or in science but when they look at the courses that you did it has to show that it's teaching related so if you're doing a master's of arts in teaching that's okay if you're doing a master of um in uh, an med in curriculum and instruction that's also okay because all of those would also be related to teaching i know a friend of mine who teaches history she has her masters i think in policy and she's being awarded the level up for policy because some of the courses that she did in policy are still related to history some way somehow now all my other colleagues who were in my class at um ue i did my masters at ue and there's nothing wrong with the program at ue this video is not to bash ue nothing wrong with the program excellent program all my colleagues who did that same masters with me the Master of Education in Educational Administration. Some of them are also in the same state that I am in, Georgia, and they too are not being paid for their degree, their master's degree. They're also still at the bachelor's level. There's one colleague, however, who is being paid for it. And you would say, well, since this person is a teacher, how comes he's being paid for it? Well, when you go onto something called a certificate upgrade advisor, it tells you the recommended masters that you can do in order to be eligible for the upgrade. So for that friend, based on the subject that he is teaching, that's, that MED in educational administration is actually aligning with what they allow for that subject area for a level upgrade. So he's the only person that I know right now that has that master's that is being paid at the master's level. All right. Now, once again, because I know that most of you, my audience, most of you are teachers or aspiring teachers coming into the United States. I am going to show you what that upgrade advisor looks like and what you can expect to see. And just for you to have a better picture as to what I am talking about all right so let me show you so this is what you can do you can simply type in certificate upgrade advisor and because you're probably not in Georgia you can be more specific and and type in certificate upgrade advisor Georgia um, I'm going to go ahead it says you visit often <laughs> Thank you, Google, for telling my business. All right, um, right, I'm scrolling all the way down to the section. I could log in, but I'm not going to log in. I'm going to go to the section that says just browsing quick view. So I'm selecting quick view, and it will bring me to this. Now, there are two options. One that says uh, select it. So it says select a certificate upgrade option. Mm -hmm. One says in field upgrade and another says new field upgrade now i'm trying to do an in-field upgrade meaning it's still within the spanish that i'm teaching i'm not doing a new field upgrade unless you're you know you're trying to teach something else but if you do a new field upgrade you're still not teaching that subject you won't be paid for it so let's scroll down so it asks what degree level are you planning to upgrade to so let's say we already have a level four level four isn't even there as an option so we're trying to upgrade to a master's degree or equivalent which is level five Scroll again, then it asks, what certification field do you currently hold? I'm going to scroll all the way down to Spanish. L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S. All right, so this is the level that I currently hold. And then it automatically loads and it shows you the the institutions that are allowed and the type of degree that is allowed now even though there is a list with different institutions you can go outside of this list but you are advised to actually let them know what institution you are planning to use and if they would accept it that's something that you have to do before you go ahead and start schooling with whatever institution you decide to choose because if i had a degree in any of these fields um at an accredited institution then yes my upgrade would have been approved so you can see the degree 
So if I had done a Master of Education in Spanish Education, I'd be fine. Master of Education with a major in instruction with a concentration in Spanish. You see how everything is in Spanish? Master of Arts in Spanish. Master of Arts in Internal Education. Let me do something else so you guys have a better idea as well. So let's say, let's keep the Masters and let's go to Math. Because I know a lot of my... I know a lot of my subscribers teach math. So let's say LM Mathematics 6 to 12. All right. So these are some of the degrees that you could hold as a master's degree in math. Master of Education with a major in teaching field math. Master of Education Advanced Studies in math. You realize everything saying math, 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 math. <laughs> so, so even if it doesn't say M-E-D, Master of Education, see how this says Master of Science in Mathematics? Even though this is a MSc, it's still a concentration in math, and so that would be accepted. So I hope you guys understand exactly what I'm talking about now when I say that you need to ensure that it's in a field related to what you are doing. All right, guys, so this is basically the end of the video. So based on the situation that I have outlined in this video, Tell me in the comment section down below what you would do. You guys know I always like to ask you to like to ask you to hashtag something in the comment section towards the end of the video. This time I'm not asking you to hashtag anything. I just want you to tell me what you would do if you were in my situation where you already have a master's degree um, and you still want a level upgrade. Would you go ahead and do a one year master's degree because you have those available, or would you just continue and do a PhD to Instead of being stepped, stepping up to a level 5, you step all the way up to a level seven. 7. Tell me what you guys would do down in the comment section below. As for what I'm actually doing, I'll let you guys know in a few months. Um, but still let me know in the comment section what you would do if you were in this situation. Thank you guys for watching. You know, Instagram Malika, aka Mali, aka Malibu, whatever you want to call me. You don't know that it's me saying, Amai.